Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can play workshop maps in CS2. Now, since CS2 has just recently been released, you can't actually find the workshop maps in this main menu. So we will have to actually add them manually. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you actually want to do is go ahead and find yourself a workshop map which you want to download. So for this video, I'll be showing you how to install Refrag's workshop map. And if you wanted to find this one too, you can head over to their Twitter, which is this page here. And then you can just join their Discord. And then from there, you have access to actually download their map. And then once you have downloaded it, you'll get this VPK file, which we can find down here. So the first thing you want to do once you've downloaded that map is just head over to your local disk. And then from here, you want to go to program files, but make sure you choose the x86 one. And then from here, we can go to Steam, Steam Apps. Then look for Counter-Strike, then click on Game, CSGO, and then Maps. Once you're in this folder, we should be able to see all these VPK files. And then what you want to do from here is just drag that file we downloaded into here. And we've successfully added it. From here, we want to close CS2 if we've got it open. So once we've done that, we actually need to add some commands into our launch options. So in order to do that, we want to come to our library and look for CS2. And then from here, we can just right click on it and select properties. And then you can scroll down until you see launch options right here. Now in here, you want to put plus SV underscore cheats space one. And then you want to do space minus insecure. And then once you've done that, we can back out. We can just start our game. Now from here, we just want to open up our console. And then we can type in map CS2 warm up refrag. And that's the one we just added. And now, as you can see, I'm in a warm up map and we can practice like this. Now, it's important to know that you will need to remove the minus insecure launch option that we added to Steam if you want to play an actual matchmaking game. So if you do have that minus insecure option in your launch options, you will not be able to play a Valve server, meaning you can't play matchmaking or anything like that. So make sure to remove that if you want to actually play a real game. So that's exactly how you can play workshop maps in CS2. Because eventually they will actually add in the workshop to CS2. And then from there, they give us a really easy way to download and test different maps. But if you found this video helpful, please comment down below to say this video helped you out. And like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.